Iran has become the fourth nation in history to have hypersonic missiles. Only the US, Russia, and China have dared to achieve such a feat. Named by the supreme ruler of Iran himself, Fatah, meaning conqueror, is a spiky, mean, grim, medium-range ballistic missile that can disintegrate targets before the target even knows it's there. With such a weapon, Russia-allied Iran could easily deal serious damage to its US-allied opponents in seconds, particularly Israel, its arch-nemesis. But Fatah won't go unchallenged. As we'll see in some minutes, the US may have a damaging response to Iran's hypersonic missile. On June 6, 2023, Iran's first-ever hypersonic missile, Fatah, was unveiled. The president of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, attended the unveiling. To the president, the missile brings security to Iran and warns opposition countries of Iran's military might. With a top speed of Mach 15, Fatah is not only one of the fastest missiles on the planet, it is also one of the fastest hypersonic missiles ever. Fatah and other hypersonic missiles attain their blurry Mach 5 plus speeds in one of two ways. The first is by being an air-breathing traditional missile that's powered by a scramjet engine as it flies and maneuvers through the atmosphere. Scramjet engines, unlike conventional engines, have no moving parts because they operate by burning fuel in a stream of supersonic air that is compressed by nothing else but the forward speed of the missile. Conventional engines, on the other hand, burn slower subsonic air that's compressed by moving engine parts, not the aircraft's immense forward speed. The second approach to a hypersonic missile sees a hypersonic boost glide missile boosted to hypersonic speeds by rockets, disengages from the rockets, and then glides through the atmosphere towards its target, using lift from the airflow to maneuver. This two-stage approach is what Iran's Fatah appears to have taken as the approach allows for insane levels of speed and maneuverability. It is this ability for hypersonic missiles to maneuver that makes them truly lethal. All of the world's ICBMs travel at hypersonic speeds. The American Minuteman III, for instance, can fly as fast as Mach 23, but they aren't considered hypersonic missiles. This is because ICBMs do not maneuver and therefore they travel in a predictable path that interceptors can figure out and intercept. ICBMs also have to fly well into orbit before they face their targets. It's not the same with hypersonic missiles, which basically operate as cruise missiles and only briefly peep into orbit at an uncommon altitude before dashing towards their target. This flatter trajectory makes the journey shorter and gives their targets less time to react. But a hypersonic missile, with all of the gifts it comes bearing, is no easy nut to crack. For the longest, only the US, Russia, and China fueled by trillion-dollar economies and a flaming zeal to keep one another in check, have dared to field hypersonic missiles. Iran would be the fourth member of that elite group and it comes at a time when the country seems to need the invincibility that comes with hypersonic weapons. There have been heightened tensions between Iran and Israel, as Israel expresses growing concern of Iran's intentions to reboot its nuclear weapons plans. Israel, a very likely target for Iran's nuclear weapon should it exist, has made it very clear that the country would never allow Iran to have such weapons. Israel's economy minister has advised Iranians to be, quote, deeply concerned. According to the minister, should Iran reach the threshold of almost wielding nuclear weapons, escalation is certain. Still, Iran appears to be reaching that threshold, as traces of weapons-grade uranium have been spotted in the country. Explanations have been made by Iran, but Israel isn't taking it. According to the Israeli Prime Minister, Iran's explanation was technically impossible. According to Laura Holgate, the U.S. Ambassador to the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, Iran continues to expand its nuclear activities far beyond established limits and is producing a type of uranium that is hardly ever used for peaceful purposes, as Iran claims. As the tensions continued to grow, Iran unveiled the Fatah hypersonic missile. According to Iran's state TV, 
Fatah, with its thrust vectoring rear, can bypass the most advanced anti-ballistic missile systems of the US and Israel, including the Iron Dome. Iran has also claimed the missile would be able to strike Israel in less than seven minutes. With these references to Israel's defenses, Iran's intent with Fatah isn't exactly difficult to guess. However, Iran has not described any actual launch or tests of the missile aside from a ground test of the missile's engine, which doesn't prove much. So this begs the question, is Fatah all it promises to be? Is the missile ready for the battlefield? And most importantly, is the missile even hypersonic? Until full specifications of a weapon are known, it is quite difficult to know if it's a hypersonic weapon by today's standards. As said earlier, traveling at hypersonic speeds doesn't necessarily make a missile a hypersonic weapon. There are more requirements to meet, particularly maneuverability throughout flight and a flat flight path. Russia's Iskander, for instance, with its ability to achieve Mach 6 speeds, has only limited maneuverability and operates as a miniature ICBM. So outside Russian borders, the weapon isn't highly regarded as a hypersonic missile. Iran's Fatah shares similarities with the Iskander, also being a ballistic missile with a partially maneuverable re-entry vehicle, rather than a hypersonic glide vehicle weapon. Still, for Iran, the missile is more than enough to perform its explosive duties. According to Iranian Defense Minister General Mohammad Rez Ashtiani, Fatah has a reduced radar cross-section. This means the weapon combines both stealth and blurry hypersonic speeds to overcome air defense systems on its way to its target. However, while even modest RCS reduction can theoretically help delay radar detection time, high-arching ballistic missiles tend to be pretty visible to ground-based radars overall. Iran may have come up with some technology to overcome this, but the world will just have to wait to find out, as the weapon is put into service and more information about it is released. In service, it would inch closer to face off against its foreign equivalents it was built to challenge, particularly US hypersonic missiles. In the last four years, the US Department of Defense has spent more than $8 billion developing hypersonic missiles. $13 billion will also be spent in the next five years for the same purpose. The U.S. is going all out and holding nothing back in its quest for hypersonic missile dominance. And these are the missiles bringing the country closer to that goal. AGM-183A ARRW Capable of Mach 20 plus speeds, the AGM-183A ARRW is a hypersonic glide vehicle being developed by the largest defense contractor on the planet, Lockheed Martin after the company received a $480 million contract from the U.S. Air Force. The AGM-183 is currently undergoing tests at the Edwards Air Force Base in California. Major success came on May 14, 2022, when the missile demonstrated separation from the B-52H Stratofortress bomber. Its booster burned for the expected duration, and then the missile accelerated to hypersonic speeds. LRHW also developed by Lockheed Martin, the Long Range Hypersonic Weapon, or LRHW for short, is a $41 million medium-range surface-to-surface -surface hypersonic weapon that entered service for the U.S. Army in 2023. Impressed by its 1,725-mile operational range and Mach 17 top speed, the U.S. Navy plans to procure a ship or submarine-launched variant. The 8-ton weapon consists of a large rocket booster that carries an unpowered Common Hypersonic Glide Body, or CHGB, in a nose cone. Once the booster reaches significant altitude and speed, it releases the CHGB, which then glides at hypersonic speeds as it descends towards its target. HALO HALO, meaning Hypersonic Air Launched Offensive, is an air-launched, air-breathing hypersonic missile with one mission – to sink ships. HALO is being developed by the U.S. Navy to address increasingly advanced naval threats of near-peer adversaries. On March 27, 2023, the Navy awarded two separate contracts with a combined value of $116 million to two defense giants to build prototypes that would compete. A winning design will be chosen from both options and further developed into a ramjet or scramjet-powered hypersonic missile fit for service. The two defense giants in a head-to-head -head for this weapon are Raytheon Technologies and Lockheed Martin. 
Both companies are also heavily involved in another attempt at a hypersonic weapon, known as Hawk. Hawk. The hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept, or Hawk for short, is no missile at all. It's more like a hypersonic bullet, a kinetic energy weapon without an explosive warhead. Hawk is a scramjet-powered air-launched hypersonic weapon project of the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short. Principal Director for Hypersonics Mike White stated that Hawk would be smaller than hypersonic glide vehicles and could therefore launch from a wider range of platforms to strike targets that are up to 350 miles away. He also added that Hawk could integrate seekers more easily. Hawk has had three flight tests, the third of which happened on July 18, 2022. In this test, the weapon was able to fly at Mach 5 plus speeds at an altitude greater than 60,000 feet. These are the American hypersonic missiles that Iran's Fatah is up against if it's to be decisive in international conflicts that are seemingly around the corner. To help ensure the best case scenario plays out regarding these conflicts, you need to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now and thanks for watching.